favorite American TV show is Gossip Girl. Would be uh, Boss Illegal. It's it is Gossip Girl. Vampire Diaries. My favorite TV show is Bones. I like how it represents uh, New York social life and New York views. And it's very fashionable. It's like very nice to see these beautiful, stylish people. I'm very interested in um, you know law and political science myself. It's it's I, I find it very entertaining to watch those people um, go into courts, debate, argue. I really like that there's a really smart female lead character. It's um, a really good change of pace because a lot of times it's just about like you know looking pretty, and it's really great to you know have a female ca character who's empowering to women. And, Different. Blair Waldorf. Blair is a socialite. She's a little bit mean, but very strong and powerful young woman who is madly in love with one um, merchant, I think, is mm -hmm. probably a proper word in English, um, who is a kind of cruel too. They are a beautiful couple who can rule the world if they want. Damon. He has this girl, he really loves her, and he always saves her and then he tells her I love you but he makes her forget afterwards because then it's better for her to forget it because she's together with his brother and so it shows that he really is a good guy and he doesn't want to do anything which is not the best for her. Okay. She's, he's not selfish. Chuck Bass, very tall, has a good body and his personality is difficult to describe because some people would think he's mean but actually I wouldn't describe him as mean but more as a good guy. Okay. Good body. Mm -hmm. Good looking. Yeah. Uh, so is that why you think he's attractive? I mean, because he has good body and... I think it's more of his way of acting. He is very confident of himself and... I mean, he's really wealthy, but that's not the reason. He's just represents himself very well. I mean, he's good looking, but also his kind of personality. What comes to my mind is that uh, usually Asian dramas contain a lot of women who stay at the house pretty much all the time. Like she works as a house housewife, pretty much all housekeeper stuff. And the husband goes out to work or to place anywhere. In American movies, uh, the women are more stronger, I mean like more stronger in society. They hold uh, important positions in companies, you know, and she works as a CEO of some companies like Google, uh, you know. So, Asian countries, women are much weaker in society. They have a like, low, really low status, but like, compared, on the other hand, like American society, women have a much more power, and they are even stronger than men. American dramas because uh, like they have more equal points of view toward men and women in American movies and it's also good to see that like women are like women themselves see like women see themselves as really important compared to the men. Like they, they are sometimes even stronger or much powerful than men. I think that's a good thing. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, unless you count American movies that are like filmed in other countries. <laughs> I mean, does Harry Potter count? That's like a movie. I guess I've just never really thought to watch other movies or other TV shows. Um, like, we don't really have like a lot of access to them, I suppose. So, that's mm -hmm. probably why. No, because I feel like. I feel like that's just one of the many reasons that everyone thinks Americans are like awful. I mean, I don't think we're awful, I just think we're probably less cultured, but I think that part of it is that like Americans have such a wide range of people who live here so that it's like not, it's not always just like white people on TV, there's also like Hispanics and Asians and African Americans, so we have our culture that way. Russian TV shows are usually uh, copied from American so we have something like that but on Russian background from about Moscow social life but it is not so interesting because it is a copy copy is not usually it's not so interesting as original version so that is why say t 
TV dramas are very popular because, simply put, they get you hooked. Um, I think it is very addictive if you want to start it from the beginning, keep on watching it, and especially because you kind of start to identify yourself with the character. And I think especially if you kind of start liking one character like Chuck Bass, yeah. you want to see how the story is going on, if he goes, gets together with the one girl or not, and what... Like what a story it's gonna be like, and you know you really want to know what's gonna happen with his life because it's always just up and down with him. Sometimes he's really nice and he is almost together with Elena, with his girl, but then again not, and then again something bad happens and he's again the bad vampire, but then he's nice again. So it's always yeah exciting.